Welcome back to Death Stranding. You know, I was looking over some of the footage and it seemed a little dark when I was watching on not my monitor. It looks great on my monitor, but uh, maybe not so great on YouTube. So I turned up the brightness just a tick and we'll see how that turns out. Now, where were we? Hmm. Can always check the orders. Ah, yes. Last time we got a new weapon against the BTs. It's called Chematic Grenades. Which, maybe they could have just called them Blood Grenades. We also have EX Grenade, and I'm not sure what difference that's going to make. And these grenades serve two purposes. They not only damage the BTs, and they can they can be damaged by direct hits. They can also be damaged by the AoE. And something we we found is the the direct hits actually seemed to do less damage, which was surprising to say the least. But the other thing they do is leave a lingering blood cloud, which not only covers Sam in blood, but his own blood, to be clear. But it also uh, reveals them, because BTs are kind of hard to see. And actually, as I was reviewing some old, older footage, as I'm wont to do, uh, I noticed a case where I got... I ran straight into a BT just because I didn't really see it clearly. Um, so those should be useful, provided we can remember to use them. So we're headed out on quite a long journey here, all the way to Port Knot City. Let's just check what we have on hand. We've got our new Mazer gun in case we run into mules. Container repair spray, which doesn't take up that much weight. And three climbing anchors. Do we have any ladders? We actually do. Um, we just need to look at bike. Which, frustratingly, you can't always see. In order to see the bike inventory, you have to go over to it and then open cargo menu there. Now it shows up. It's actually a trike. There's all of our ladders. And let's put some of our heavy stuff on there too while we're at it. Oh, there's a reason we didn't do that. There's a reason it has our ladders. It's because... We're probably not going to be able to take the bike all the way there. There's a big hill that we have to get over, and the bike's probably not going to cut it. So, I think we'll head out. Let's plot a route here. All the way from Capital Knot City. It looks like we want to go follow the river all the way down here. And there's a very steep hill, so we want to be on the north side of the river to have the easiest time traversing. Yeah. So let's figure that out. Here. And I don't need to follow this trail too exactly, but we do know there's only so much elevation that the bike is able to deal with. At 
some point we need to cross over. So we'll look for a bridge. Turns out there's one right here. That'll be a good spot. And from there, we go here. And we will have to find our way after that. Might as well save while we're here. And we can't forget. Well, we can forget. I almost did. We should top up, top up on energy drinks. And this is when our blood bags get refilled. We haven't seen that before. We can also take a shower. There's nothing to see here. We can also take a shower to refill the EX grenades, I think. But we haven't even used a single one yet. Try to make it all the way there in a single session, but no promises. Okay, it's about time to do something about the tooltips, because we've played this game over 10 hours now. And we're still getting them, and they're taking up a large amount of the screen. Okay, well, that should be a big relief. Because they really do take up an obnoxious amount of our limited real estate. Sam, the car that was brought back from Nessie's commissioning factory contained records of the facility's use. And while it was indeed officially abandoned, they seem to indicate that it was later repurposed. To what end and by who, we don't yet know. It may or may not be connected to the mules. The investigation continues. Head back to the Capital Not Western Distro Center to pick up the order. We need to get to the bottom of this, for all our sakes. Head back to the Capital Not Western District. So that is not our current objective, but we are headed in that direction. So we'll have to make a stop there. Hopefully I remember. Is this even indicated in any way whatsoever? Such as a map icon? There's a bed. There's... Is there, was there even a log of this conversation that we just had? Was there mail? I don't think so. Well, that's a, a bit unfortunate. It'll be good to stop there anyway, because we'll need to recharge the bike. happened. Does that mean... Oh. That means there's BTs. That was a much faster animation. Let's see if we can't circumvent them. As much as I do enjoy throwing grenades, it's just going to drain our resources. Oh, right in front of us. I see some 
shadowy outlines, shadowy figures. I really need to pay attention to the Odra deck. That's something I noticed in a previous video. It was pointed right in the direction I was running, and I didn't see a BT, but the Odra deck was clearly indicating one. And that's what got me. All that happened was we got covered in Breathe easy, Sam. You're clear in goo. Territory. The death stranding's to blame for all Chiralium. The gazers, the fall of America, everything. It warped the world beyond recognition. Humanity had to scramble like rats fleeing a sinking ship. But there's nowhere else to go. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, we need to find another way. A way to overcome the BTs, the Death Stranding, the whole damn mess. We only got covered in goo when we fell over, so it really wasn't that consequential. But it was a mistake nonetheless. And we also want to give the mules a wide berth. They're in the same place as they were last time we drove here. And now that Die Hardman was giving us his spiel, I am reminded of something he said earlier. Seems like I want to move laterally to them as much as possible so they can't throw their spear. Something Die Hardman mentioned about where the mules come from that maybe rubbed me a, the wrong way a bit uh, in terms of the message of the game. Mules well it wasn't necessarily mules it was actually the whole cause of this situation in the first place it was we started automating deliveries so that humans were no longer involved. And it turned out that people didn't like this because they liked the human element. They wanted humans to be service workers to be delivering them their, their packages by hand. And I just find that kind of funny. What can't you do? Is that if the game is suggesting that the service workers are essential to humanity's well-being and without them continuing to make us all feel taken care of, served our food, and hand-delivered our packages, that civilization will collapse. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Hmm. I don't know if I really support that message. Um, that's all I'll say about that for now. So they wanted us to go to this distribution center, if I recall correctly. Um, although there is no indication of that. That's where we are, right? And we can just drive the bike right in there. I don't know if the if the delivery personnel were so important and essential to society, I, I do wonder how well they were paid. I wonder if they liked their job. Clearly the mules liked their job. Because they went crazy when they weren't allowed to deliver things anymore and they became mules. So let's see what they have for us. They really want us to rest in the private room. Okay, this is just that mission that we saw earlier that they're telling us about. And we decided not to do it because it didn't have the star that indicates it's actually going to make 
story progress. And we're all, we're all charged up. And we still have that icon. And so I want to... I want to understand once and for all if this exclamation mark icon is really as important as it seems to want us to believe. Is this worth my time coming back to the room and seeing what it is? Where is the exclamation? It's the terminal. Because if it was just something like there's a new music track, I would not... That's not something important to me. That's... We do have a message from Benjamin Hancock. You taking care of your BB? How are you doing, Sam? And how's your BB? Me? I'm a bit worried. That's why I'm writing you, actually. You see, I used to have a BB of my own back in the day. I'd jack in whenever I went out on a run. Standard procedure and all that. Thing is, and this is just between you and me, I started... Well, I started to care about my BB. Yeah, yeah, I know. I went to all the briefings. It's just equipment. Don't empathize. Don't get attached. Yeah, well, easier said than done. Especially when it gave me a like. A piece of equipment can't do that, right? Equipment doesn't like being rocked, either, or get soothed by the sight of a spinning Odra deck. Check out your tips if you're not sure how to do stuff like that. My BB loved it when I took us swimming. When we'd just float on the water, but got real scared if we dove in or went under. Like a tool would give a shit about any of that. I bet your BB's the same, right? Reacts to things in ways that can't be explained away? Man, I miss those days with the little guy. You'll take good care of your BB, won't you, Sam? Ah, what am I saying? I know you will. We've got some music. Do I need to go here in order to get rid of that exclamation mark? Same with the tips. It's given us all these tips already. I just want them to go away so I know when there's something actually important that I'm missing. I'm not thrilled with how that system is working. So if I manually go through all of these tips, which we've already seen in the game, I don't really need to know that they're also available here. All 99 plus of them. Now, finally, have we satisfied its need for our attention? Perhaps we have satisfied it. don't think that did anything. We didn't really lose any of our max stamina because we were sitting on the bike the whole time. Keep you 
safe. No matter what. was worth going there just for that scene but I'm not sure if that's what that notification icon was telling us about or if it was just telling us about all of those various things no there isn't one anymore at least we can do is save here because this could be a hard mission or well as some of the game has gone so far, it could end up being a lot easier than it was made out to be. We get Have a pleasant journey. Keep on keeping on. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the path. That's because I'm not looking in the right direction. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Weapons restrictions lifted. And this is a good opportunity as any to cross. Anyone? I was trying to like the bridge, but I don't have the patience to wait for that. Sam doesn't have time for such social media trifles. To remember that timefall now would be a good time to stop for a minute and check your mailbox hmm. it's telling us about the half-life stuff I think it's telling us about The companion cube. Well, if it's going to go so far out of its way to tell us about this after we're already all kitted out and ready to go on the actual main story mission, then we'd better do what it says. We'd better change our plans. So the message tells us follow the river northeast from the distribution center and find a cube. Here's a distribution center. Here's north. Here's northeast. How far northeast are we talking? Hopefully not too far out of our way. The only reason I'm doing this now is that message... Some games are better than others about this, but that message looked eerily like a point of no return message. Like, we'd better do this now or we'll forever miss out on this content. And I'd like to see what there is to see in this, especially if it's specific to the director's cut. Okay. Really want to make sure I'm reading this correctly. West of Cap... North of Distribution Center. Follow it northeast from the center. And you should find what you're looking for. It's a cube. 
Okay. It shouldn't be hard to spot. That might just be it right there. No, that's a rock. And where did it want us to take this cube? Because that can help us. That can help us know what it'll look like in our scanner. Distribution, back to the distribution center. So hopefully it won't be too far. Is it this over here? It doesn't say what it is. That doesn't look like a cube. That looks like a small medical instrument. Looks like the electricity shuts down. So if we've got them on our scanner, can we actually see what... Yes, we can. None of this looks like what we're looking for. Northeast makes me think we'd be better off on the other side of this river, especially if we can avoid the BTs. Still in BT territory, huh? See, when when you see the Odra deck pointing in that direction, it's time to change your direction of movement. Companion cube, there it is. not advisable to go in the water, but we'll be able to recharge back at the distribution center. Indeed, it was a companion cube. Uh, no. I just want to put it on the vehicle. I can't really think of a situation where I I want to I don't know where I want to by default undo my changes. You know, I just want to adjust my cargo and then press B and get back to the game. But that's not how it works. You always have to hold A after you make changes in pretty much any menu in this game, which at least they're consistent. But holding A an, an act, if it's going to be a very frequently performed action, I'm not sure it should be holding a button, because that takes too long. Shouldn't I hold the button in order to undo? Here's your precious companion cube.
Gordon glasses. Bye, Didn't even have anything to say to us about them. Good work. New order available. Please access oh, there we go. A message. Hmm. You really are the great deliverer. Thanks, Sam. You really are as great as they say. I knew I could trust you, and now I'm closer to achieving my goal. But I've still got a ways to go yet. That was just one step on my journey. I'm going to need your help again, Mr. Great Deliverer. Anyway, did you like those special glasses I gave you? Gordon glasses, I call them, as worn by one of my world's preeminent scientific geniuses. I reckon they do a good job of bringing out your natural tough guy looks. Well? Was that it? They wanted us to take a break. They wanted us to get some lost cargo. And we got it. Maybe we'll be looking for a message in the future. Maybe it's part of a continuing quest line. We better charge up before we go. I guess we can't do that here. Hmm. Well, that's surprising. We do have a generator right outside. Have a pleasant journey. Weapons restrictions lifted. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. I heard someone say, hey buddy, but I don't see them. And back the way we were going before we got our intrusive message. At least we got those glasses, huh? That's going to really help us on our way. I appreciate it nonetheless. I do feel that Kojima games have often straddled the line between seriousness and occasional silliness. And that's part of the charm. And as I was saying when we were last here, it's good to remember that the rain isn't just a sign that we might take cargo damage. Exactly. It's also a sign that we could be about to encounter BTs. And maybe let's be careful. So we're getting to the spot where... Ooh, is that a... Is that a... No, that is not a place we can go under. It's just a sheer... Sheer cliff. So we don't want to go left. We want to stay to the right. And... If I was a game designer... That's where I would put the big scary monsters that I want the players to encounter. <laughs> So we're going to pay attention to our Odra deck, and we're going to be ready with our blood grenades. And unfortunately, we may not get the opportunity to use all those ladders. We may not have a need to, but we might need to get off of our bike because we're not able to use blood grenades while we're on the bike.
have to be very careful and we have to not drive in the direction the Odra deck is pointing, which is my my bad habit. It's good that the boxes are transparent. Ah, so there's one this way as well. Is that going to be a dead end? Doesn't look like it. it looks like that will be the high ground. So that's the most probable way forward. But there is a BT in that direction, as the Odra deck is telling us. And can't see it just yet. Probably we're too far. How close do we need to get before we're able to detect it? Or is it just completely random? There, see, now we're seeing it. But do we see it every time? We do. So there's kind of a radius. And I do love this. I do love this trike. I would really hate to part with it. But I'm wondering, is it going to be an option to just take this one out, drive on? Well, we've got blood grenades. Why not use them? And let's see what it... Let's see what the EX grenades do, even. They seem... upset. That didn't seem to really do anything to them. It perhaps made them mad. Sam, we're seeing major fluctuations in the local chiral density. Wait, you just took out a BT, didn't you? Fine work, Sam, fine work. If you're wondering what that weird stop start noise is, it's me barely holding down the trigger. So as long as we go slow, we are able to see them. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and shut grenades at each one, because why not, right? It's, it's one toss, one kill. When they start drifting up, I guess that's the sign. When we were doing the VR training, they turned kind of turquoise, so um, that, that color isn't really coming through now, unfortunately. Wherever that other one is, it's way over there. I'm assuming the Odra deck always points towards the closest BT. I hope that's the case. I really... I really do. Continue on this path. And we've got another ahead of us. Lurking somewhere. I see it starting to coalesce. Sometimes they seem a little smaller. Was that a kill? I hear the screams of unhappy Odra decks. We have I think 10 of those blood grenades. 
hematic grenades, but who wants to say that? Just because there's a more complicated, scientific-sounding word doesn't mean that's the word we need to use. I'm, I'm wondering if this is the gameplay that was intended, because... I don't know. It's not exactly riveting, it's just kind of slow paced, but that was what I was signing up for with this game. That is what I wanted. Just trying to see. oh it's it's way over there. I don't think we'll have any issue with that. Oh, when it starts flashing that fast, though, I do get concerned. And it said that we, it said that we damaged the trike. Is it really that? That's what it's worried about. It's really far. I'm thankful that they give you the benefit of the doubt with these grenades. How damaged is this trike? Does that notification mean that we really screwed it up? Or does it just mean we just did a little bit of damage? And I guess we've damaged some of the current... Oh, you know what it is? It's got to be the rain. We're going so slowly through here. So. Looks like you've got an empty container there, huh? Feel free to submit junk like that to Bridget. So these are great if we know we're going to go up against BTs, which we don't always know. And look at that. It's only container damage. Which is exactly why we have container repair spray. So let's take a moment and use that. And we'll also see if we need to get really precise with it. So we hold it, point backwards, and spray until it tells us. It looks like it's really... It's healing everything. Last time it told us when it, things were fully repaired, so did that really not repair everything? It's just about fully repaired. Okay. We're good to continue. And we've only got five of those blood grenades. So we might have to adopt a different strategy. We also... need to think about I see it I see it flashing I don't see I don't see what it's indicating on Maybe we need to get just a tad closer Oh I see now what it's indicating on What does that mean can we kill it? Or is it? If it bleeds, we can kill it. Two down? be on our way.
And that took quite a few of our grenades. So fighting BTs is, is no longer an option for us. Let's see if we can just ride our way through. Not if, not if we do that. Well... I need all that stuff, it turns out. Can I... I can't... I, I was... We need the stuff that's on the track. Well, we have a ladder there. So, let's see if we can at least get out. Okay. We have to balance. And... It is now a complete disaster. Where do we want to go? Just casually checking our wristwatch while this is happening. Sorry, BB, we don't have time for you just yet. Maybe once we get off of this patch, we'll be okay and we can go back for our stuff. That did not go very well, did it? Did that despawn the BTs? Or what did that do? We need those. So what happened is we started to run low on hematic grenades. And we just didn't have enough to full clear the BTs in our path. Fuck. Indeed. Well, let's hope this is not too damaged. I. It ended up all falling on the ground because I opted to mash X instead of and now we're we're planning on taking the bike so I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple things there oh let's auto arrange I opted to mash x rather than hold l and r for balance And I guess that was the wrong call. When you mash X, that gets the, the guys who are grabbing onto you, that gets them off of you. But they can also pull you off balance, especially if you have a large load, so. Good to know. It's good to know we can come out of those situations moderately intact.
And we made it. Lesson learned. Oh, and another thing we learned is if we do get taken down by BTs and the weird BT whale thing appears and we manage to escape, then it seems like it just despawns all of the BTs. Sam Porter Bridges. I wonder if it might be faster in some circumstances to just go ahead and okay. get caught just so we can despawn every everybody and make our way through. But if we do want to go a certain way, we have to make sure we bring plenty of hematic grenades and blood bags. Because apparently what we brought was not enough. I just kind of assumed it's what they gave us, so... It got us some of the way there, though. It definitely helped. Well, we can't argue with S rank, regardless of the difficulties that we had. So you heard to usher us into a new Cairo age or some shit? Yeah. Is that cool? Hell yeah, go for it. Been waiting forever and a day for this. Igor, from Corpse Disposal. My little brother. So, what? He just gave one of these to you. Why? I was there with him, at the end. We were moving a body. Things went to shit. There's BTs everywhere. And one of them grabbed him. So he told me to take it and run. So what's your story? You lived through a catastrophe like that only to keep on doing the same work? Okay. Been a long time coming, I suppose. You take good care of that little guy. He belongs with the expedition. With you. All right. Better if you take this with you too, I reckon. Can't think of anyone who could use it more. Humatic grenades and blood bags. Indeed, we could use those. We have to actually grab them. Port Knot City is back on the grid. 
This community, a part of the UCA. Their data, a part of our shared wisdom. With enough time and enough cargo printers, they'll be able to build ships. And one day, the waters will be ours again. All because you led the way. Though what follows in your wake isn't always good. Any city that joins the UCA becomes a bigger target for the terrorists. But we have to accept the dangers and press on. No matter what. The rest of America is waiting, Sam. Waiting for you to take the first step and connect them to the Chiral Network. I know you can reach them. Make us whole again. Thanks. One more C in the UCA, huh? So, you fixing across the lake and head west? Yeah. We got a boat? No, not for years now. Terrorists took out everything, bridges, that floats. Only boat in town belongs to a private courier. Private courier? Don't tell me. Fragile Express? That's the one. I already spoke with their rep. I'm having them load the boat with some of the supplies you brought us. I'll bet the folks in Lake Knott will be tickled pink to see someone come into port. Been a while, I expect. Head on down to the harbor when you're ready. It's right outside the distro center. Don't worry. Port Knott never gets the rain. Feel free to rest up in your room before you head out. And we brought a new strand online, or I think that's what it's called, a strand, and we we brought the new station online, we expanded the chiral network, and I think that's enough. I think we'll take a break here, and we'll be back next time with more Death Stranding. Bye for now. <laughs>